Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be playing around with uh, the Kathleen and ColourPop The Zodiac palette and a few other products from the collection. Before we begin with the video, however, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also be sure to add me on all of your other social media platforms. I will link my handles down below. Um, if you love the look, that I am wearing right now and you would like to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. I'm going to use the foundation brush that came in the promotion when they initially did their launch. So I'm going to shake 100 and 134. So here we go. And I've never been one to apply my foundation with this kind of brush. I'm going to go in with the blender. And to conceal, I'm going to be placing the ColourPop No Filter Concealer beneath the eye area and I'm going to be working the product into the skin with a beauty blender. To set, I will be using the ColourPop Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I absolutely love this powder for everyday use. Now we'll go ahead and start with the eye look. For the look uh, today, I am just gonna go ahead and play with the palette and not really do much of a tutorial, just kind of play with, you know, the collection as a whole and, you know, hopefully we'll create something pretty. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get started with the eye look. I'm going to dip into this shade here and with a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to use that as our uh, brow bone highlight. Next, I'm going to dip into the Taurus and with that same fluffy blending brush, I'm going to start working that into the crease as our transition shade. Um, you will see that I move on and I do use a different brush here to further build the color into the crease. I'm slowly building this color into the crease in windshield wiper motions. Next I'm going to dip into the Virgo and I really like this shade. I'm using a Sigma blending brush and then I'll dip back into the Taurus shade here and that is just going to help blend both colors together to seamlessly blend into the crease. And to add more dimension, I will be dipping back into the Virgo and slowly building that color up into the uh, crease. Next I'm going to use the Sigma Shader Lid Brush, the E56, and I am going to dip into the shade uh, the Leo, and I am going to be placing that shade all over the eyelid space. I'm not using any Max Fix Plus or anything. I I really like this shade a lot and you can see that there is uh, no fallout, which is awesome. And because I thought the Leo was too warm, I dipped into the Makeup Shayla and ColourPop collab and I picked up the shade Thick in a Sigma blending brush and I'm adding some warmth to the crease here.
And to smoke out the look, I'm going to dip back into the Virgo and with a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to be placing that onto the outer lid space. I'm not trying to make it too harsh, but you can definitely do that if you like, just by adding more of that shade on the outer lid space. Alrighty, so I kind of managed to salvage that. What I have so far is I really love the shade Taurus and the shade Virgo together just along the crease. Uh, but I, when I went in with the Leo, um, that one is a little too warm compared to these two. So I had to go in and add the shade Thick from the Shayla collection which is right over here I love this shade so much it's such a pretty shade um, so I added that kind of to the inner crease I just really wanted to use the shade the Leo since you know it's a Leo and I'm a Leo and it's August so I really wanted to try that um, then I'll work on the rest of the uh, the eye look here and see what we come up with now I'm going to be adding the Leo on the inner corner and the lower lash line as well. And then I'm going to be creating the same kind of look that I created up above by mixing the Taurus and the Leo on the lower lash line. I also made sure to add the shade Thick on kind of like the center of the lower lash line as well. And these are the products that I use for brows and lashes off camera. So I'm actually gonna I'm gonna set it with the translucent setting powder and I'm using my hourglass brush because I have been loving that. And then I won't set this area, maybe I'll bake after I put on some bronzer. Um so now I'm gonna go in with um I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop bronzer. It's well loved. And I think I favorited this during my August favorites, but this is the ColourPop angled brush. Really been loving this for bronzer kind of contouring, since it does just kind of give me a sharp line. And then stop doing keto for about 30 days for my birthday, and I gained three pounds. Oh yeah, I think that's it for bronzer. Highlighter, I th we have On the Cusp and Fire. On the Cusp is a little bit more uh, pinky and light and Fire is speaking to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Fire over top the highest points of the cheek. This is a beautiful color. Ooh, pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that. This is the Sigma Small Duo Fiber. Oh my gosh. I think I just discovered something I like. By accident. This might make, make me reach for these Highlighters a lot more than I typically do. And I do love a chin highlight. Uh, but I really do love this shade. It is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Ooh. Well, I always mix these, but I will take Morning After and On The Loose. So these two. Maybe light up our mustache too. Oh. Okay, I think we fixed it. <laughs> Blush. I'm gonna take a oldie but a goodie here on a color pop brush. This is from the Knockout palette. This is the Excuse My French powder blush. Marry our bronzer to our highlight. Um, because we do have a bit of a smoky eye, I am going to actually attempt to bake. No, I don't think I give myself enough credit when it comes to this part of the uh, 
makeup application process. I don't think I'm a good baker. And I'm just gonna quickly brush this off. So this is what I have so far. Um, I think I really just jam-packed the uh, blush here, but I am living for it. I really like this kind of smoky look. I've kind of been digging that um, quite a bit, actually, the under eye smoky look. I'm going to try some of the lip products here from the Kathleen ColourPop collection. I'm going to try the shade the pinky one first just because I know it doesn't go with the look and that's not the look I want to keep on for the rest of the evening. Um, so I'm going to try the shade Scorpio Moon first, then I'll remove and then I will try the other shade in the collection. And that is what's your sign? What is your sign? Ooh, this is pretty. There is so much pigment in these. So that is the shade Scorpio Moon, which believe it or not, I am a Leo in a Scorpio Moon, I think. So let's see, but this is a Plummy Rose. It kind of reminds me of one of the NARS lipsticks that I loved uh, quite a bit ago. thought that was a really pretty shade. Um, but unfortunately, that shade does not go with this look, so I'm going to remove it with the toner pad that I just used to prep the skin. And then I'm going to dip into the other shade in the collection. Now we're going to go in with What's Your Sign? And this is just described as a light neutral shade. And this is so soft and creamy. I love this formula. This is the um, the Creme Luxe Lip. Currently, my uh, perfect nude is Third Eye by ColourPop, in case you're wondering. But that is what the shade looks like, and I like it. I feel like it pairs uh, much better with the eye look I created um, in comparison to Scorpio Moon at least, and I am digging the highlighter as well. Um, I will be adding additional swatches of the um, Super Nova Shadows, which are super pretty. I will be adding those later on in the video, and then swatches of the actual full palette later on as well. So far from what I used from the collection, I loved it. So now I'm gonna start the swatches part of the uh, video. I'm gonna start with the Lux Lip lipstick in what's your sign this is a creme finish this is one of my favorite formulas these are like nice and soft and creamy the next shade is scorpio moon again this is a creme finish and this is a plummy rose Next, I'm gonna go in with the Super Nova Shadow and I'm gonna start with the shade Astrology. And this is described as an olive gold. And next, we have the shade Constellation. This is described as a champagne pink. So pretty, that is what that looks like. So we have Astrology up top and Constellation on the bottom really pretty and next we have the super shock highlighter this is in the shade fire which is a shade that I used for the look today and I'm obsessed with this shade this is described as a peachy gold and then here we have the shade on the cusp this is a golden champagne so we have fire on the right and on the cusp to the left very very pretty shades i'm obsessed Alrighty, so i'm gonna go ahead and do this 
eyeshadow palette swatches for you. First row we have the Aries, which is a fiery orange. It is a metallic shade. And then we have the Taurus, which is a matte camel brown. I absolutely love this shade. It's beautiful along the crease. And then we have the Gemini, which is a metallic antique gold. And then we have the Cancer, which is a soft peachy pink with a golden sheen. It's a really pretty color if you like pinks. Alrighty, and now we have the second row of swatches here. All oh, very beautiful shades. We have the Leo here, which is a soft coral with a gold flip. This is beautiful, I love this shade. And then we have the Virgo. This is a matte dark chocolate brown. Another perfect, beautiful shade. And then we have the Libra. This is a matte, light, dusty rose. Then we have the Scorpio. This is a rich metallic plum. I think like this one would be perfect for like the holidays. Alrighty, and now we're down to the very last row here. Um, so here I have the, Sag the Sagittarius. This is a matte magenta purple. And then we have the Capricorn, which is a black with gold glitter. This literally looks like the midnight sky. And then we have the Aquarius, which is a matte periwinkle blue. This one swatched the worst out of the bunch, for me at least. And then we have uh, the Pisces, which is a vibrant metallic aqua. And then this one didn't swatch very well as well. Uh, but I think it's because we had this little guy up top. Those are the swatches for the Zodiac palette. Um, I'm digging a lot of the shades and I like um, the reasons why she chose each shade for each different sign. Uh, do let me know in the comments what your favorite shades from uh, the eyeshadow palette are, what your favorite product from the collection is. I'd love to know. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of this more chatty, get ready with me, uh, voiceover included uh, kind of tutorial. Um, I did just want to use a couple of colors and kind of gather a first impression. I do love the Super Shock highlighter. I love the palette and the blendability of the shades that I use today. I can definitely see myself using the Taurus and the Virgo quite a bit and also the Leo of course. Um, but I do maybe want to create another look using this palette since I feel like it is quite popular um, or at least it will be and then maybe I will do a look using the Supernova um, shadows. I don't know. Time will tell. Um, but that is all. That's all I have for the ColourPop Kathleen uh, the Zodiac collab. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please be sure to add me on all of your other social media platforms and be sure to subscribe before you leave and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Is this a good look? Alright, so now we're gonna go in with what's your sign?